looking for me? Today, hockey gets you back on track. Fox Tracks, the NHL on Fox rolls on. Blue morning, blue day. You'd better do things Mad Dog Mike's way, even if you're, you know, kind of great. Can they slow down the Russian Fab Five who like to burn that hockey champ with both ends, racing to a record 60 wins? But, <laughs> assume nothing by... B-Town Billy has his Bruins engaged in some winning ways, but Boston's still stuck on that playoff bubble, hoping not to get knocked off for the first time in 29 years. Today, they look to send bummed out Buffalo over in a barrel. Dallas' Mike Bodano feels like a lone star, because his team's full of fallen stars. Today, they limp, I, I mean, to ride in the shot town to battle the Hawks, whose aim is true. Defenseman Chris Chelios and Gary Suter will lead the ambush, partner. New York, New York, start spreading the... No, forget it. Whoa. This scramble's not in the apple, it's out on the island, man. Ranger Richter, he's healed, and main man Ness will try to get his rangers off that seesaw against those hated islanders. Better call the cops. Then there's the other guy with the hair. <laughs> Yaramir Yager. But the pens are in Flyer Town, and when you're at Eric's house, it ain't pretty. All right, bucko, buckle up, because it's the one and only NHL on Fox. And welcome back to Hollywood and the NHL on Fox. We've got five games for you this afternoon, and with just three Sundays left until the end of the regular season, each game is critical as teams fight for playoff berths and positioning. And hello, everyone. I'm James Brown. Good to have you back alongside with us and my partner, Dave Maloney. Six weeks off. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, JB. And in six weeks, we've had a couple of chaps change addresses. The great ones in St. Louis, McSorley and Curry in New York. What hasn't changed? Detroit hasn't changed. They keep rolling along. Stanley Cup favorites, Detroit Red Wings. Okay, and of course, we'll set the playoff picture for folks in just a bit. But first, let's head out to Detroit. Now, those of you getting that game will see the return of the Fox Tracks and a look at the Red Hot Red Wings. And calling that game will be our own Mike Emmerich. And good afternoon, Mike. Good afternoon, JB. The regular season, two weeks to go, and they play it to entertain hockey fans. And boy, have they been entertained here. 20,000 fans will be here today. What a season they've had. They've come here 38 times and only seen three losses by their team. By next weekend, this is probably going to be the best record in history. Over 20,000 will see the rest of the Blues games in St. Louis because of this guy, Wayne Gretzky. All the rest of the year sold out to watch the generation's finest player. A couple of fine players we don't get to see today, Brett Hall or Shane Corson, because of injuries. But we do get to see some history. Goaltender Grant Fuhr breaks his own record with his 76th straight start. You mentioned the Fox Tracks pucks. Grant will be catching a few of those. Fox Tracks is back. Improved look, the enhanced puck, the Comet Trail, and shot speed. And I predict 96 miles an hour will be the fastest, and Al McKinnis of the Blues will have it, J.B. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Now, those of you not getting that game will see either the Penguins and Flyers. That's a game which could decide the top seed in the East. Also, the Battle of New York between the Rangers and Islanders. Dallas at Chicago or the Bruins against the Sabres. Boston Buffalo, a huge game for the Bruins. That game kind of underscores how tight the races are in the East and the West for the last spots. Let's start in the East. Well, in the East, there are four teams vying for only three playoff spots, JB. And the Fox faceoff, what's important in my idea is goaltending. We're going to take a look at four of them. Only the lowly Ottawa Senators have scored fewer goals than Martin Brodeur's New Jersey Devil. This guy has been terrific. This year's MVP for the Devils. Billy Ranford, they got him in January from Edmonton. He's been terrific, struggling at 500. The Bruins have been better with Ranford in the lineup. Jim, Jim Carey leads the league with nine shutouts. He's had a spectacular second half. He plays for a team that also struggles to score. Darren Scoopa Poopa backstopping the Tampa Bay Lightning. The oldest of the foursome at 31 years old. Tampa relies on special teams. Their power plays fourth best in the league. So in the East, both Boston and Tampa Bay have the game in hand on Washington and New Jersey. Boston is eighth because they have won more than Tampa Bay. In the West, a dynamic duo is giving the Mighty Ducks a shot. Well, they are giving the Mighty Ducks a shot. These two guys are crucial to what the Ducks will or won't do. In February, they traded for Tamil Solani. Solani gives them a playmaking and scoring ability to 
go with Paul Correa, who is a spectacular young player. The problem is they're winless in their last three. Why? Solani and Correa have not scored. Speaking of goal scoring, this guy, Pavel Bury, will begin skating with the Canucks, Vancouver that is, this week. If he gets himself back in the lineup with Mogilny, the Vancouver Canucks will be a factor in the West come playoff time. And in the West, Anaheim and Edmonton are on the outside looking in, but the Ducks have a decent shot at the playoffs. That's because they played the fewest number of games of the teams that are on the bubble. Now, David, as we saw, Detroit on top in the West last season, strong in the regular season, wiped out in the Stanley Cup Finals. Strong this year. Will it be the same fate? Well, I don't know, but at the risk of reputation, uh, JB, they have been terrific this regular season. There are three guys that are playing better. Chris Osgood's a better goaltender. Lidstrom and Konstantinov in the blue line are better players. Larionov, they bring him in from San Jose to kind of bring the Russians together. The problem is, if they had not got swept and swept convincingly, I think people would mail the cup to the Motor City. Can they stand up to the east in the grinding? Time will tell. I think this is their year. All right, you think they're tougher. We'll find out if that's the case. And folks, we're going to take you out to your game right after this. You're watching the NHL on...